Doing dragon, so this may be a free dragon. Uh, Bard getting caught out, unfortunately, there, but able to tunnel away. But the uh, the Braum is now following that, getting the stun on the Bard, but actually pulling Bard, Bard was able to pull him away. But there's Lee Sin coming straight off dragon, going in with the Q, going there with the war jump, and Bard getting first blood. The ignite also being waste, uh, not wasted, but being thrown a little bit too early onto the bard there. But in comes TF, but the flash from bard not a uh, able to land him straight to safety. But TF, buddy, you're a little bit out of uh, out of safety, and there's a few flashes being popped there. But there's two kills straight to the bottom lane. The TF trying to take an e or what he would have. Thought would have been an easy kill on the bard as he was pretty low, but they were able to. But Chisholm Chiefs were able to turn that around into a two for nothing, and Nah now getting uh, pulled in by the Darius. But the Darius taking a lot of damage. The Nah trying to do a flash R, but a little bit late there. But the W coming down, the stun and the Q securing another kill. That is three kills now for the Chiefs, and you got to feel good as a Nah taking down a Darius. Automatic reset. Uh, Hecarim is now sitting in the bot lane there. He's looking at getting a gank on Bard, but Bard is able to travel through the tunnel there and able to save himself. But Zarya is now in a little bit of trouble, popping the ult there, but the Bard ult comes down. Uh, sorry, the Braum ult pop comes down, popping up the Bard. But Hecarim's now got snared underneath the tunnel. That is one, that is two for Duralingus. Take down things faster, and it's an often a priority compared to all the other dra uh, the, the Drakes. And there's the Lee Sin ganking in mid lane there, able to not land the Q though, lands on a minion, and there's Akali being able to clean that one up. Was just going for a ward clear or not. The Bard ult coming down in bot lane, bear, but the Braum ult in retaliation. The Q coming out from Bard, stopping them both, but the Braum E is in such a perfect position. The Zarya ult coming out, Lee Sin's now saying hello. Uh, Zarya's trying to get a nice uh, pullback for that snare. You, I mean, you look at the picks that they're going for, and there's the Akali dashing once, dashing twice. Do we see another Thrush dash? There we do. Uh, uh, trying to take down the TF, and luckily she was able to uh, pop the flash there and take down the TF, backing up with the team. Um, AD, oh, oh sorry, AP, AD Assassins. But there's TF taking down the tower, but whether he will sacrifice his own life, and he, unfortunately, the last tick there wasn't able to jump up, so trades the first tower for uh, a kill there, again, for Akali. And there's the Darius taking down the Nar bit by bit. His ult is up and full max passive stats. The W stun coming out. Micro lag now jumping up through the ult and the Q. The Darius ult coming down doing a lot of damage there. Almost taking micro lag down. And Macintosh is going to be able to jump in and secure that kill. Respect the Darius damage. Because even though Darius was behind, he almost one-shot the micro lag. The Bard ult whiffing, unfortunately, the Zarya, the Zarya getting caught out. The Hecarim now appearing from the jungle. The broken stopwatch being used as well, just being able to secure him. But Duolingus able to turn this one around, being able to st uh, snare the Lucian under tower, not being able to secure the kill. At the right moments, it's just unfortunate that micro lag seems to be in the same, si uh, same spot every time. There we are, speaking of micro lag, here he is ganking the TF with Macintosh with malfunction. The Zon, uh, the broken stopwatch being used by the Akali, but she doesn't mind much. But unfortunately, the Nar goes down. Out a very important ward in Baron, and there's a nice Bard ult landing onto the Lucian. The Bromo attacking in retaliation there, but the teleport coming down now for the Darius. The Doralingus is able to pick up the uh, the Lucian there and the Brom as well. The TF and Darius are now trying to attempt a, a, a counter-attack here, but the Duralingus picks up the triple kill. Can we see a quadra kill? No, the Macintosh steals that one. The micro lag is now taking uh, the, on the Hecarim in the mid lane. Jungler v Jungler. Conqueror is now just being popped there for the Hecarim. Uh, but unfortunately, it looks like he's not going to be able to do as much damage. Micro lag missing the Q. Dragon being secured for uh, Chisholm Chiefs there. Hecarim survived with a little bit of damage, but buddy, you're running into the enemy team. Like doing loop de loop now, coming in there from the bot side. Uh, Braum, Microlag taking a little bit of tower shots. The, uh, the broken stopwatch coming out from Microlag. Akali getting caught out. The Darius uh, also pulling in the Akali, but Zarya is on the offensive here. She is looking for kills. There's one, there's two. Microlag um, actually being taken down there in the fight. The Zarya flashing forward, taking down the Lucian. There is a double kill uh, for one and a double kill. Work around the Baron pit here. That is probably the next objective they want to be looking to go for. The Lucian is in bottom lane. I'm sure that's been pinged off, and that's why they're engaging now. The Bardock coming in, stopping the Darius. I don't believe that this Darius lives much longer here. The Bromot coming down, but the Q heal off the Darius is enormous here. The Lucian going back, but I'm afraid that's a little bit too late. That is one kill for the Chiefs there, which will cement an inhib tower, hopefully. 
well, looks like they will be able to take down an Inhib Tower. Maybe an Inhib. The Lee Sin going in and dashing out as Lee Sin's do. Uh, the Akali now doing what Akali does best. And the TF was able to actually pick up the Lucian. The stun coming out from Nas, stopping the disengage from the Hecarim. But Hecarim, Hecarim is still going straight in, popping that ult onto the Zarya. But Zarya pops ult right back, stopping the engage from the hacker and able to take him around but in the background Akali was able to pick up a double kill and walk away with here uh, if they continue to push on the press the pressure is slowly building and building and there's a nice pull from Darius and a Q empowered Q the brawl mole coming up with the Zaya pushing out the bra uh, the uh, the bard ult coming through to the hacker ult not being able to land the Braum actually uh, the bard taking down the hacker there Zaya sitting in the back line the TF Wonder where he's teleporting in, trying to get the Zarya there. But another snare coming up from the Zarya. Not getting able to be able to take up a double kill. The Braum trying to do as much as he can, but Akali picks him up. And that is an ace. And with an ace is possibly the inhibitor. Possibly the Nexus Towers. Probably mostly the Nexus Towers. Looks like they will be pushing down for the win. Which will be another win for the Chisholm Chiefs. Woo! What a game. Uh, Chisholm Chiefs 31 for 6. And they've uh, looks like they've got their groove back.